Hello and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. That's my wife at the background over there. Say hello. Anyway, uh, I'm, I am got Channel 7 on and what is this again? The Video Music Awards. I don't know about 90% of the people. Oh, that's, that's the dude from Home Alone. Uh, want to go over the weather pattern as you, uh, I'm recording this Tuesday, October 9th at about 7 30. Uh, as we told you in a previous blog post, you probably have realized now what I was talking about with the secondary severe weather season. Uh, I think we did have, you know, we had that video of a possible tornado and I say possible because we can't tell if it was on the ground and I don't know, I haven't had any reports of damage, but it was in Northwest Arkansas and we've had a couple of tornado warnings and, uh, um, uh, just working some social media stuff here from home. Uh, I want to show you how things are going to play out over the next uh, few days because we're going to get some fantastic fall air. And for that, I'm going to go to weatherbell.com, the GFS. Uh, and you see that's Michael, which is going to just be a, a, a very, very bad hurricane. It's a major hurricane, and it's going to strike Florida, and it's not going to impact our weather. Fronts coming through, you see these black lines, those are isobars, lines of equal barometric pressure. There's low pressure right there. The trailing cold front right in here. Also, notice this. I believe it's Sergio is the name of it. This is going to work up towards the north and the west, uh, northeast, I mean, and uh, it's going to actually bring rain chances. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know why the isobars disappear there. So this is a Wednesday evening. It's in the, the Michael has made landfall in the Florida Panhandle. We're drying out, so you see low pressure up here in, into Wisconsin. There's Michael, which will exit that way towards the east coast, and again, leaving Arkansas alone. Uh, these isobars and the circulation around this low and behind the front mean a northerly wind, dry, cool air coming in. It's going to be the coolest air so far this season by a mile. Uh, now watch the, the, the moisture from the Pacific system. At the same time, some moisture, I'm sorry, a system comes out of the northwest, and you see that this is, uh, let's go Saturday morning. You see, this is what's left over of this tropical system in the uh, Pacific, which comes up through Mexico. High pressure, 1020 millibar high. So we're getting a nice east-northeast flow here at the surface. Dry, cool, and then you're going to have clouds overrunning that. So that's going to hold temperatures down significantly this weekend. Um, and then you got the game going on right now. It looks like a, a, a lot of this, according to the GFS at least, uh, is going to stay in western and northern Arkansas late Saturday and then it may bring some rain chances to the state again late Saturday and into Sunday. Uh, again, that's with the disturbance along with uh, the, that Pacific system. And then a new area of high pressure comes in by the beginning of next week and reinforces the cool air that's in place. And it's just going to be downright nice. I mean, this is going to be the type of weather where we're going to urge you to uh, have your carbon monoxide detector, make sure it's properly functioning because you're going to need the heater. Uh, de I see her over my shoulder. What? You have something to add? Anyway, so you're going to need uh, your fall coats. And I appreciate you coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.